Hello friends, welcome to Mid-Morning Manna, Lonnie Mattingly here, and uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or some other platform, I'm glad you've tuned in today, and I hope you'll tune in every day, Monday through Friday, sometime during the day, we're usually on uh, early in the morning, and we just, it stays on all throughout the day, so you can scroll down whenever you get it, and let me encourage you to do this, follow Pastor Lonnie Mattingly on YouTube and go to YouTube, Pastor Lonnie Mattingly, and uh, there you will be able to see the, all of the recordings for the whole week. If you've missed one, you can scroll down and, and get that, and I think that'll be a blessing to you. And uh, let me just ask you to, 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 to hit the like button or the angry button, it doesn't matter, but subscribe to that channel and then hit the bell and you'll get a notification when there is a new YouTube from mid-morning manna or early morning manna or late in the day manna, whatever it is, and uh, you will get it. And I think it'll be a blessing to you. This week, we're talking about memorizing the Word of God, memorizing some Bible verses, getting the Word of God in your life. Now, I want to tell you, it doesn't just happen automatically. You can't just uh, typically, unless it's a verse that really just grabs your heart, you can't just read a verse one time, especially if it's got more than one line on it, and, uh, and automatically have it memorized. You've got to work on it. And so I want to encourage you to begin working on the Word of God in your life. And the way you do that is by writing it down, putting on an index card, write that verse out, carry it with you, and then several times during the, during the day, uh, get that thing out. Every time you have a few moments of spare time, get it out, read it over, include the reference as you read it. Uh, and uh, 1 John 5, 13, whatever it is, and then read the verse and, and quote the reference again uh, where it's found the address of that verse, and it will begin to stick. And if you just do that over and over several times a day for that week, you'll have that verse. And if you do that 52 times once a week for a year, you'll have 52 new verses memorized. And if you do that for a couple of years, you'll have well over 100 new verses. And you know what that is? That's ammunition in your heart, in your mind for the Holy Spirit to use to bring those verses up in your thought life to help you during times of trial, during times of discouragement, during times of temptation. The Holy Spirit can draw those verses up and use them to help you. Plus, as you talk to other people in everyday life, it'll give you an opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else that may be going through some difficulty. You say, you know, that reminds me of a verse. And then you're able to talk to them and encourage them and quote a verse to them from the Word of God that God will use in a mighty way. God uses his word. It's a powerful, powerful instrument in the hand of a believer, in the life of a believer, to share it with others and to help them along the way. And uh, so mm -hmm. this week we've been talking about many things. And today I, I want you to think about this. I want you to think that memorized scripture, when you memorize the scripture, it's food for the spirit. It's food for the Spirit. In Matthew chapter 4 and verse number 4, the Bible says this, And he answered and said, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Man shall, uh, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You see how powerful that is? You can't, it's not just sitting down at a supper table that's going to make you a strong Christian. The thing that's going to build your spirit and give you strength in your soul is getting the word of God in your life. And I want to challenge you with that idea and listen, just as you get hungry for meat and potatoes and uh, for whatever else you eat, and whatever else are your favorites, you ought to be hungry for the Word of God. Feast on God's Word. Get it in your life. Memorize it, not just for your own sake, although it'll be a great blessing to you, but for the sake of others that you love, that you want to help, that you want to be a blessing to. Allow God to use you. Well, let's pray together. That's our thought for today. I hope you'll get it in your life. Apply it. Use it. 
and God will bless you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word of God. Thank you, Lord, that you've given us the capacity, the ability to memorize portions of scripture and, Lord, to use them in our life for victory day by day. And I pray that those who are watching, listening today will apply that in their life and just determined to make it a habit to begin memorizing the word of God verse by verse, here, here a little, there a little, uh, until they have some strength in their life to serve you and to be used of you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. When I say master, my sorrow Jesus, he